why we are seeing here the other team, the Chicago Hounds, arriving to the pitch. A team with a lot of experience in the MLR. They're ready to see some rugby action. And the MLR starts in Florida. First knock-on, as expected, double knock-on, both teams. The ball will be very difficult to handle. Hoping then to push the, the Sharks. It was the other way around when there was an attacking wall. Long line out to number eight, Luke White. And the Hounds attack through the mall. They seem to draw clear. They get stopped a couple of meters from, from the try line. And the referee decides it's a penalty try. Seven points for the Hounds as the attacking mall was brought down. Here we can see a replay as the rolling mall advances. And Manuel Ardao is pinned for dropping it. And referee decides that had he not committed the penalty, it would have been a try. So there goes a penalty try. And there will be a yellow card for dropping the mall. And that goes to Manuel Ardao. He went through the side, dropped the, dropped the mall. But the good thing is you have a lot of rain, but you still have a, a pitch where you can play good rugby and you can see both teams trying to play with ball in hand. As the Hounds attack, it's a very hard, it's a very hard situation to defend. And Benjamin Bonasso will be, will be sin-binned. He went from an upside position and deliberately knocked on the ball. So it's not Benjamin Bonasso. It seemed like it, it was Benjamin Bonasso. And again, a penalty try. Another penalty try, another yellow card. Ten minutes to go. Yeah, it's hard to tell who was in bin because the attack through Tomás Casares, Inciarte. And the uh, ball goes knock on, goes loose. And that's the end of the first half with the Chicago Hounds leading the Miami Sharks 29 at the Florida Blue Turf Field in Fort Lauderdale. As referee Khalil Harrison signals the start of the second half, game on. High kick, Billy Meeks takes the ball, attacks, makes some good yardage. Throws to Tomas Casares. The forwards attack. The ball is back with McDulty. They get closer and closer and closer. And again, that was McNulty who reaches the try. And it's a very important try for the Sharks. 48 minutes and they narrow the gap. And now we'll see Chicago Hounds how they will react because in these 10 minutes they've been playing very close to their try line. Finally, they got a try against them. So, well, it's time to try and play to. So, Harry, he hasn't missed a kick, a place kick. He did miss a draw goal. And he continues with a 100% record. And he brings the Sharks within one point. This is what normally rugby does not appreciate the crowd booing the kicker. But it does. No difference as Carlson kicks the, the penalty. Billy Meeks touches the ball, kicks for touch, and the game is over. The Chicago Hounds came to the Florida Blue Turf field and have beaten the Miami Sharks in the first ever game, 23-19.